everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now, I think it's safe to say that most mature and grown women do not want to look older than their natural age. That might be the case for younger women and girls. You know, they wanna look older, they wanna look more mature, but the rest of us, we wanna look younger than our natural age. But there might be things that you're actually wearing that are making you look old. So today's video is all about those items that you might be having in your wardrobe that are making you look older, that are adding years to your look, and that's something that most of us don't want. I'm gonna be sharing those items as well as really great alternatives to those items so that you can bring out your youthful side. So if you want to learn about the items that might be making you look old, as well as some really great alternatives, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna jump right into the video, but I have to give a disclaimer. There's always some weird noises going on at my new place. It is like the birds out there. I think we have a flock of parakeets nearby they are extremely extremely loud i can hear them in here as if they're inside my television so they're that loud so it sounds like the birds in the background y'all but pr i promise you nobody's being attacked out there those are just really loud parakeets and i kind of like it but really not great for videos but anyway we're gonna jump right in so the first item that i think really does age us when we wear it are those stretchy maxi skirts now we know that maxi length items are very much trending right now. They're so cool. They really have that conservative, chill, female vibe to them. Like they're they're feminine, but they also are like super cool. So I love a good maxi skirt. I love a good maxi dress, but it's a thin line between wearing a nice maxi dress or skirt that makes you look youthful and really, really nice and feminine and those that make you look frumpy and like matronly and things like that. And these types of skirts definitely make you look matronly and just a little frumpy. And this is an example of one. This is one of those stretchy, you know, just waist skirts that just really doesn't give you any shape. It's not a line, it just kind of falls off the body. They really do add years to your look. Like you can style this with the cutest top and it's still gonna look aging on you. So I would advise you, instead of wearing those stretchy skirts, go for like an A-line African printed skirt or something like what we're seeing now. Those denim maxi skirts are really great as well. In the insert you're gonna see right now, I'm actually doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the stretchy, ugly skirts you just saw and a nice African printed maxi skirt. And right there you can see the difference. Not only does the African printed skirt add shape to my body, but it also looks a lot more modern, a lot more regal, very, very elegant, whereas the other skirt looks very frumpy. It looks like I shop at the swap meet and I'm buying clothes from the early 2000s. That's the vibe that we're getting from that stretchy skirt. So. Take that alternative. You can definitely go with an African printed skirt or any type of printed A-line skirt that you like. Or you can do what we're seeing now, a long line denim skirt or a long line leather skirt or faux leather skirt. I've sh shared a few of those in recent videos, but yeah. The stretchy, like no shape, fall down skirts, they add years to your look. So try to avoid those at all costs. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next item. The next item that a lot of us might be wearing that is adding age to our look are dashiki or captain style dresses. Now, I gotta tell you, I am all about those dresses when I'm in the house chilling. Like I will walk around with my head wrap, with my dashiki dress on. Some people call them moo-moos. There's all kind of foul names for them, but those are the dresses that are just like a box basically. And I have some examples here for you all. So this is an example of the kind that is adding age to your look. As you can see, this is like a caftan or dashiki style dress. You pull it over your head. It's very boxy, very oversized. It's not gonna give you any shape. It's not gonna make you look any younger. And once you throw on that head wrap with it, honey, you can guarantee you're adding years to your look. So this is something I would say, keep it for around the house. If you have to go out in it or if you wear them when you're on vacation, like these are really great vacation, like breakfast dresses is what I call them when you're just going down to have your breakfast. You're not getting dressed yet for the day. They're great for that. But I would say as an alternative to the printed, you know, Africa, you know, yeah, we calling out for the ancestors and all that, it's great. But I would say a great alternative to this one would be just a plain one 
if you have to wear one of these. Even this one is gonna add some age to your look, but I would say this one is a better alternative to the printed one. But what you'll see in the insert right now is the Captain Purple dress styled up next to a maxi length shirt dress. That is a much better alternative to wearing an item that is definitely going to add age and possibly even add inches to your look, meaning make you look bigger. A shirt dress is a great alternative. It's just as comfortable. It's a one piece item. It's super easy to style. It's classic. It always looks modern. It always looks nice. And you can wear shirt dresses in multiple ways, particularly the ones that button all the way down. So I love a shirt dress as a great alternative to those kaftan style or dashiki style dresses because they just look so much better. And you all see that in the insert. I styled up the shirt dress, just really simple. It's from Amazon. It's very affordable and it's just a simple shirt dress and it looks so much better so to get back to what I was saying as an alternative to the dashiki or captain style dresses that are super boxy and big and really do make you look like somebody's Nana or Nona <laughs> try wearing a shirt dress. It will make you look a lot younger and a lot more modern and also a lot more stylish and chic in my opinion because it's just a sleeker, more put together look. So try that as an alternative. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next item that I think could be adding years to your look or making you look older is your cardigans. Now specifically, the length of your cardigans is what I want to address. I think that the length of your cardigans can definitely make you look more modern and youthful versus looking older. There's certain lengths of cardigans that just add like a frumpy, older, secretary, librarian look. Like I'm close to retirement, don't bother me, that type of look. And that's usually the look that we want to avoid. So I'm gonna have some cardigan examples here that I'm gonna be styling up. So I think when you wear a waist length cardigan, it's gonna make you look older. It's gonna make you look older, and this is an example of a waist length cardigan. As you can see, it's just a simple button down, taupey colored cardigan. And honestly, I think these types of cardigans add age to our look. This is another item that, you know, if you just wanna throw around the house, throw it on around the house just to keep warm, you know, that's fine. But I would say if you're going out and you wanna look a little more youthful and put together, avoid this length of cardigan. This is the type of cardigan that stops right at the waist or just below the waist and opt for a longer length cardigan like this one. This one is like more like a thigh length cardigan. A maxi cardigan might be even better, but this is what I have to show you all. I didn't purchase this recently. It's an old item that I've had for years, but I love this super simple midi length waterfall cardigan. And in the insert right now, you're gonna see these two cardigans styled up with a very simple modern outfit. It's a white button down shirt and jeans. And what you can see is that the shorter length cardigan definitely does make me look a little older. It's adding like a, matronly sort of vibe to the look. Like I said, that older secretary, librarian, maybe an older teacher type of look. That's the vibe that I'm getting from the shorter cardigan. Whereas the longer cardigan looks a little bit more put together, more polished, a little more modern. It just brings more of a youthful look to that outfit. So I would say definitely keep in mind the length of your cardigans when you purchase them. Try to opt for midi length or maxi length cardigans. So by midi, you mean like mid thigh, maybe even knee length, or you wanna go for like a maxi or longer length cardigan. They look so much better and they're just a better alternative to a waist length cardigan. They are a million times better than like a shrug because those really just make you look like, you know, <laughs> oh my goodness, like, 1980s on my way to church type of look. No, we're not doing that in 2023. So make sure you keep in mind the length of your cardigans when you're shopping and shop for either midi or maxi length cardigans. They're so much better as an alternative to the shorter cardigans that make you look older and I dare say from beer. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've talked about how the length of your cardigan can add or subtract years to your look, I wanna talk about the fact that how you style that cardigan can also add or subtract years to your look. Now, how you wear your cardigans can definitely be a factor in whether you look older, a little bit more matronly, or whether you look a little more polished and put together. I would say, 
avoid wearing your cardigans with like maxi dresses. Now, I know that when we're around the house, that's the thing. Like for me, I'm always in like a tank dress, a cardigan, because I don't wanna be wrapped up in a blanket all the time. Sometimes I just wanna look a little cute. So I'll throw on like a fitted tank dress or a bodycon dress and I'll put a cardigan on. I'm not talking about when you're just chilling around the house. We're talking about when you're stepping out into the world. So when you're thinking of all these looks, think about you being outside wearing them or going somewhere or actually doing something wearing them. This is where we're at with these looks. So we're not talking about in the house when you're just chilling. It's okay to wear a cardigan with a maxi dress if you're just around the house or whatever. But when you step out, you wanna look a little bit more polished and not so matronly and definitely not frumpy. And I would say to avoid that, don't style your cardigans with maxi dresses. I have this cardigan here. This is from Misguided. I've had it for years. As you can see, it's in this beautiful like cocoa-ish color. I love this cardigan. I throw it on all the time. But I prefer to wear it with a more modern outfit, like a simple white button-down shirt and jeans. And in the insert, you're gonna see this cardigan paired side by side in two different ways. On one side, you're gonna see a pair with a white maxi dress. That dress is from ASOS, and I just paired it with some simple boots. And as you can see, it does look a little more matronly. It makes me look a little older. Yes, it's conservative, but it's not conservative in a good way. It's conservative in kind of like a frumpy, like I don't really care type of way. Versus the other look with the cardigan where I styled it with a white button down shirt, jeans, and boots. That look looks so much better. It's more polished, it's more put together. It's still pretty casual and comfortable but as you can see it's a much better way to style that cardigan so when you're out there putting together outfits in your mind as you're shopping because we're not doing mindless shopping we're actually planning for our wardrobe when you're planning when you're thinking of those cardigans and how you want to style them style them with nice outfits like a button down and jeans it doesn't have to be a white one it could be a black button down it can be a v-neck it can be a, a nice little camisole with your jeans and the cardigan on top but i would say avoid wearing it with a maxi dress because when you do it with a maxi dress it really does kind of put a spin on it that makes you look older and again dare i say maybe even a little more frumpy. <laughs> so we want to avoid that. So style your cardigans with more modern, nice and chic outfits. Moving on to our next item, another item that you might have in your wardrobe that could be adding years to your look are culottes or capris. I think those are an item that I've pretty much stayed away from my whole life. I'm either wearing pants or I'm wearing Bermuda shorts or shorts one or the other like i have never really gravitated towards capris or culottes because i've always felt like they just don't look good on me and i've always felt like they're really really hard to style so i would say if you want to avoid adding years to your look stay away from culottes and stay away from capris now the difference in length of the two is definitely a thin line okay between bermuda shorts because bermuda, bermuda shorts can actually run long almost to the knee whereas capris are just past the knee like in the middle of the calf area. So they're not too far off in distance, but you will be surprised how that little bit of distance makes such a difference in your look. Now I have here in this hand, a pair of capris. These go like a little bit past the knee and they stop like mid calf or a little above mid calf. They do not look good on me at all. They don't look good on me. Um, they're hard to style. They're hard to modernize. And I don't care how much they say, oh, the Y2K look is back and all that. I will not be doing it. I, I won't be doing it, y'all. <laughs> right here, I have a pair of Levi Bermuda shorts. Now, as you can see, the length between these two is just a few inches. You see these are just a few inches longer than those Bermuda shorts, so not too far off. But you're gonna see in the insert the difference right now. So I style both of these with a white T-shirt and a plaid blazer and some boots. Do you all see the difference in how these two pair of bottoms look? The capris slash culottes, whatever you want to call them, make me look so much older. They don't look modern. They look awful, in fact. They look frumpy. They look played out. They look old. They look dated. And they just don't look cute. But on the other hand, the Bermuda shorts look a lot more modern. They look fun. It makes the outfit really look more pulled together, kind of giving that street style vibe, that futuristic vibe. And this is certainly something that any woman of any age can wear. I mean, it's a blazer, a t-shirt, and denim bottoms. But those denim bottoms, what you wear is gonna make the difference. And Bermuda shorts are something that any woman of any age can wear. They're just longer shorts. And I think they oftentimes look better on us than short shorts. So I really love a good pair of Bermuda shorts. But there you saw in that insert that the difference between the two 
is major. Stay away from capris and culottes if you don't want to add age to your look because what they're giving is rhodium swap meet and if you grew up in LA you know what the rhodium is it's giving like you know Ross clearance rack you know five dollar store baby <laughs> look I'm not trying to clown nobody but we're not doing that stay away from capris and culottes let's go ahead and move on to the next one before I offend somebody the next item that I want to talk about that might be adding years to your look without you intentionally trying to are overalls. Now overalls is that item that if you're young, they look cute. They're fun. They're nostalgic. You know, they give that like vintage cool vibe. And so they can be pretty awesome when you're like young. Now when you get a little older, like my age, okay, early 40, they look a little played out. And they can also look matronly and they just make you look like you're trying too hard. They make you look like that older auntie that's still trying to be young. And so in that sense, they almost like reverse what you're actually trying to do. You're trying to look younger, you're trying to look cool, you're trying to look fun, but it does the reverse. It just makes you look older and it makes you look like you're trying too hard. And I hate the idea of that. So avoid overalls. I have a pair of overalls right here from Amazon that I bought and just could not style for the life of me. Like what a waste of coinage, right? Like these would be really cute for like one of my young cousins or something like that, which I may pass them, pass them along to one of them because they are nice, but they're just not for me because when I put them on, I always feel like I look older and I feel like I look like I'm trying too hard. Whereas my alternative is a boiler suit, a denim boiler suit. So if you wanna go for like a denim cover all type of look, a boiler suit is a much better option to go with. It's so much nicer, it's sleeker, it's modern, and you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can style it in a multitude of ways, and boiler suits are just always cool, like no matter your age. Like I've seen older women wear them and look really cool, I see younger women wear them and look really cool, and they don't make you look older or frumpier. So in the insert, you're gonna see these two items styled next to each other. I styled up the overalls with a white shirt and my denim Reeboks, and I also styled out up the boiler suit with my denim box. Look at the difference. I mean, <laughs> need I say more? No, I don't think so. You can see that those overalls definitely do look a bit frumpy on me. They look a little played out. They're not stylish at all. They're not chic at all. Whereas the boiler suit looks a lot more put together. It's giving like more of an urban feel and definitely giving more of a modern feel in my opinion. And it just makes me look a little bit cooler and more youthful in my opinion. So I would definitely say if you're looking for like a cover all type of look, go with a boiler suit over denim overalls because you're gonna look a lot more youthful and just a lot more put together and just better overall. And definitely more youthful versus looking older and like you're just trying a little too hard. The next thing that I wanna talk about that could be adding age to your look and making you look older is necklines. Necklines are one of those things that is just super tricky. Um, there's certain necklines that are automatically going to make you look younger and sexier and just more vibrant. And then there's other necklines that add age to your look. I would say cow necklines are very, very tricky. If they're the kind that are like super loose, that almost hang here, but you got like a lot of fabric here and stuff like that, and they're almost off shoulder, but there's tons of fabric, it's gonna make you look older. It's gonna make your look a little bit more dated and um, possibly a little bit frumpier, maybe even cheap, in my opinion, depending on what the material is. And that's what we don't want. And I have a dress here that's a good example of that. This is like a, look, it won't even stay on the hanger. Like it's so disobedient. <laughs> this is like a cow neckline sweater. This is something that I picked up at Ross. Y'all know Ross is good for having all the stuff that we shouldn't be wearing. <laughs> I love Ross's graphic tees, but outside of their like underwear, bras and stuff like that, Ross, <laughs> no. But anyway, as you can see, this neckline is like, it won't even stay on the hanger. So it's definitely not gonna stay on you. It just, it's hard to style. It's hard to make it look good. Even if you do like really modern shoes or boots, it's still gonna be a little bit off as far as how it looks and how it, you know, comes across. Like cow necklines like this, they're just not useful. They don't look good. They give, you know, Friday night Bible study. Look, and I'm, I'm not trying, y'all, I don't know why that came out, but 
I'm not trying to say anything bad about going to Friday night Bible study. I have gone to many Friday night Bible studies in my life and I still do. But what I'm saying is we want to look cute. We want to look beautiful even at Bible study, y'all. We don't want to look old and frumpy and played out, okay? And that's what that dress is going to do for you at Friday night Bible study versus this next dress, which is also a sweater dress. This is a black sweater dress. Same category as the one you just saw, but much more modern, much more sleek. And as you can see, this has a scooped neckline. So you just want to put on good shapewear, a good bra under there that doesn't show and you're good to go. And you're gonna see these two dresses next to each other in the insert, just to give you a good clear picture of the difference. As you can see, that cow neck dress just looks a lot older. It definitely screams like I'm an older woman, I'm conservative, um, and this is the best I could come up with. Versus the other look that's put together, sexy, modern, and it's something that almost any woman can wear. Never ever feel like because you're a certain age you can't wear an item like that because you can. But I really love that dress a lot better because like I said, it's just so much more modern, put together, sleek. It just looks very chic. It looks current and it's something that won't go out of style. It's a simple black dress. And I've talked to you all about simple dresses in the past and how they can look a little more expensive and upscale even when they're not expensive. So you guys see that example and you see why necklines really do matter, particularly when you're talking about like those cow necklines with a lot of fabric. Stay away from those. They are aging you. They are taken away from your look. They're just not doing much for your outfit. And uh, I'd say as an alternative, Go with a nice, sleek, fitted dress. Something that has like a scoop neckline, a crew neckline, even a turtleneck, mock neck, anything like that. Just avoid the like extra fabric cowl necks. No. Alrighty folks, so the last thing that I want to talk about that I think adds age to your look and definitely can make you look a lot older than you want to are ballet flats. Now recently I heard that ballet flats are like a 2023 trend and that they're coming back. If you're young, it might be something you wanna look into wearing or trying. But I did that in the early 2000s and I'm not going back, okay? <laughs> Ballet flats are something that in my opinion, if you're a mature woman or an older woman, it's gonna make you look older. It almost gives like an orthopedic, like I can barely walk type of vibe. Whereas you have so many, so many alternatives than a ballet flat. So I have an example here. Now these are the shoes that I stuff in my bag when I'm going to a party, meaning I'm in my cute heels and I'm gonna switch out to walk to my car later in these. Like these don't go any further than that. Do you feel me? <laughs> these are round toe ballet flats and this is the type of shoe that they say is like trending for 2023. And I'm just like, no, not for me. This is why I don't jump on every trend just because it's hot because some things, it might be hot, but it's not hot for me or you, <laughs> okay? At our age, okay? This is something that's gonna make you look older. And I'm gonna style these up for you all just to show you what they do to your look. So I'm gonna put on a orange floral dress. That's from River Island. I've had it for quite some time. I got it like a couple, few years ago. I love that dress. With the black blazer, I'm gonna throw on the ballet flats on one side of the screen. And then on the other side, I'll have on that same dress with sneakers. Do you all see the difference? Talk about modern, cool, street style, you know, really, really just relaxed look, like that cool girl vibe, versus frumpy, older, librarian. Like, <laughs> it's just not giving what we want it to give. I'm also gonna switch out the sneakers for a pair of chunky, like flat boots, just to show you what that can do for the outfit versus the round toe ballet flats. So as you can see, that's definitely giving more of a spin. It's bringing contrast to the dress because you have masculine shoes with that nice feminine dress. It just looks a lot better. It's definitely more modern because you got that element of contrast in there and it just looks more street style, more urban and just more current. And this is a look that a woman of any age can wear. I've talked to you guys about this look in the past and how you can style sneakers with pretty much anything to really add more of a modern feel to it. So definitely try it out no matter what your age is. Try throwing on a nice maxi skirt or a maxi dress with some really cool sneakers. I promise you, you will love the look. And if you throw in a blazer, it really does make it look a lot more polished, but also that extra contrast. You have a polished piece, you have a feminine piece, and then you have a really cool street style piece style together. 
talk about a modern, really cool vibe, that is it right there. But you guys saw in those inserts that these round toe ballet flats, I don't care how cool people think they are, or how they're back, they're a no for me because they make me look older, they make me feel older when I wear them, and there's just so many great alternatives out there to those that I don't even need to go there. So I would say leave these for the shoes you walk back to your car in from a party or something like that, or when your feet start hurting and you just don't care. These are the, these are what those are for. These are not for like styling an outfit or going out, no. Even if you're at work, there's better options than that. You can do some cute ponytail slingbacks as flats. You can do loafers, I anything, anything but this, y'all. <laughs> so I hope you like these ideas. I definitely hope that they will help you all to keep that youthful spirit about your look. You know, we all wanna just stand out. We all wanna shine no matter what our age is and we don't wanna add years to our outfits and we certainly don't wanna be out there looking frumpy and outdated and played out. No, none of us wants that. So hopefully these tips will help. Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about the fashion items that might be making you look old. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all did not find any offense to this video. These are just my opinions. And if any of the items that I talked about are items that you actually enjoy wearing, please do not take offense. Continue wearing the things that you love to wear and the things that work for your style. These are just my thoughts and opinions. So please don't take offense to them. I hate the idea of offense anybody but I honestly do think that a lot of these items do add age to your look so I hope that the alternatives will help you all out and I hope that nobody finds them offensive but I want to thank you for watching the video if you are interested in picking up any of the alternative items that I shared you can check the description for those links I have them all linked there but thank you all again if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go you will love my content and you'll love my beautiful wonderful community here it is just amazing it's a great place to be so hit that subscribe button to all my regulars i really hope you all enjoyed the video i would love to know in the comments what items would you add to this list okay are there any items that you think add age to your look or just really make you look older i would love to know we all could use that additional advice so leave a comment and let me know what items you would add and what you think about the items on this list but i really hope you enjoyed it to all my regulars i love you guys and i will see you on the next one bye y'all